So guys, we are finally here in the final episode of this tutorial series, and what we are going to be doing here is just putting our final detail pass into the helmet. Wasting no time, we're going to go ahead and select these edges and do a subdivision on them, and we're going to add a little angular inset to this section here. I'm just sort of eyeballing this as it's present on some of the reference images that we have on the pure ref board, but it's not actually present in our orthographic view. So that's why I chose to do the subdivision method, as it just keeps everything a little bit more precise. I didn't realize at the time, but the detail that we're about to model is actually present on the front orthographic view of our reference images inside of Blender right now. I didn't notice this, so I just eyeballed all of it based off of the detail shown on our pure reference board. Despite what I said in some of the previous tutorials, I actually use an inset and then alt s to achieve this detail. It's not problematic here because the faces we're doing it along both share very similar normals, so there is no way that Blender can really screw it up since it's not going across curved surfaces and the such as we were doing earlier, doing those inset details around the top and back of the helmet. So you should be fine using an inset and alt s there without any problems. I could just barely make out this detail that exists in our top-down orthographic reference. You don't have to put it in if you don't want to. Um, I just noticed it, so I thought I'd put it in. I haven't seen this on the other Mark VI designs, I don't believe, um, but we're going to put it in anyway. And any other details that you want to place on the helmet by this stage, you don't have to be following along with what I'm doing 100%. These are just the details I want to add in based off the references I was using. So by all means, you can add anything else, as I think by this stage and getting this far in the series, you guys should be more than confident to add in details. We sort of go ahead and ruin some of our nice quad-based topology here, but it's of no concern to us because the areas in which it's located aren't going to have any drastic effects on our shading around the edges. So don't worry, it's actually more beneficial to us because we get this extra set of edges around the front here, which we can use to slide up and make the 
creases on this little inset that we've done a little bit sharper because at the moment given the length between the first edge and the second edge along that front face there there was a great deal of distance so it sort of stretches out the shading on the edges there so even though we've put a triangle on the sun brim it's okay because it actually is more beneficial than it is costly to the entire design Similar to the cut that we placed in just before underneath this little inset, I just wanted to place this one through it so we could slide it along and just tighten up the edges there. I just kind of felt that they had a bit too much of a profile to them, so I just wanted to draw that in a bit. As far as where this terminates, we could have this edge run through the entire length of the helmet, though that's probably a bit excessive and we don't need that much geometry throughout the design, especially through the middle there. So we can just have that edge terminate as a triangle into that crease there. We're never going to notice it and it's not going to cause any problems for us, so we can just have it terminate there. Once again, we're going to go ahead and destroy some of our nice quad base topology and put in a triangle and leave an end gone on the side of the helmet there. We can get away with this because once again, that is a mostly flat surface, so it's not going to show up in any strange shading or anything of the sort when we do final renders. So it's all good, we can get away with it, and it just saves us having a whole lot of unnecessary topology running through the back of the helmet there. So guys, that is all the details on the Mark VI Gen 3 2018 helmet. We have finally finished it. You should be so proud of what you've managed to accomplish in this series. Think about where we started with just the basic visor to block out the shapes and then just blocking out the shapes of the helmet in general. So we have something that's very detailed. We have some very nice topology, even though we did destroy some sections of it. Um, but you guys should be so, so proud of this. I hope you've learned a lot. I know this was a long series, but if you've stuck around this far and you've got the result you have sitting in front of you right now, you should be so, so proud. Once I have the energy and strength to do it, because this has been really, really mentally exhausting, editing all 22 hours of my footage and trying to condense it down for you guys, I will go ahead and do the UVing and texturing tutorial series so that we can have some beautiful textures on this model of ours and do some nice renders. So guys, thank you so much for the support and getting to the end of this tutorial series. I hope you're proud of what you've managed to make and I shall see you in the texturing series when we get around to it.